Hey everyone. So I wanted to talk to you about, <clears throat> excuse me, about whether you should wash your eggs or not. Um, as you can see, I keep mine on the counter, but there are two schools of thought. Um, the U.S. as a whole, pretty much what the commercial guys wash the eggs and they are refrigerated because they're washed and here's what's going on. When the eggs are laid, there is a clear bloom that is naturally put on the outside of the shell to protect the, the pores in the shell. And that's so that if the egg is going to be incubated and um, have a chick hatch, that um, disease and stuff can't get inside the shell and harm the chick as it is, um, it is uh, developing. I couldn't think of the word. So as it's developing, um, so it the bloom actually seals the, the holes, the pores in the shell and save you know helps the chick develop all the way to being able to hatch out of the out of the shell. So that's what the bloom's purpose is. And if you wash the eggs, you wash that bloom off. So now you've exposed all the pores in the shell. And that's why you have to um, refrigerate them because otherwise things you don't want could, you know, salmonella and things could get into the egg and then that's a problem if you use them to, you know, for your food and stuff. So, how long can you keep them? Well, you could keep your eggs on the counter like this for as long as a month. So I rotate these, the ones on the end here on the, the short little rack are the oldest. Those get used first and I work my way, my way down the line. And I also have um, family and friends that I give eggs to, so they help me go through them a little faster. But you can keep them out in room temperature for a month. You do wash them right before you use them. Um, but if, you're, if your hen house is clean, if your nest box where the eggs are laid is clean, then your eggs are pretty clean. Like I can show you, um, like this egg here, See, there's like nothing on it. It, This is the way it got laid. I haven't washed this. So as long as you keep your nesting area and hen house clean, your eggs are going to stay really clean. I mean, there's, there's nothing on them. They're perfectly fine. So I do wash them right before using them, just in case there's something there I can't see. But for the most part, that's, that's the way I keep them, on the counter. Then... If, if I crack one, like when I'm collecting eggs for the day, if I crack one by accident, that one I wash right away and put in the fridge. Because I know it, it didn't go bad because I just knocked it and cracked it. So that I still use. If I find one cracked out in the hen house, I throw it away. Because I don't know how long it was that way. And so let's say you've got some eggs um, and you're not sure if they're good or bad anymore. How do you tell? Well, you can do that with a bowl of water. You set up a bowl of water and you put an egg in it, a raw egg like this, and if it's fresh, it's going to sink to the bottom and lay on its side. Now on its side, um, I mean this way. So it's going to sink to the bottom of the bowl in the water and lay on its side. If it goes to the bottom but it stands on an end, it's still good to eat, but it's not as it's not fresh. It's still okay to eat it. If it floats all the way to the top, it's a bad egg, and toss it. So that's how you tell if your eggs are good or bad, if you're not sure. So that's what I wanted to let you know today is, you know, do you keep your eggs on the counter or do you put them in the fridge? That is a personal choice. A lot of people do wash them right away from their hen house and put them in the fridge. Now, if you sell your eggs to other people, you need to look at your local ordinances for selling backyard, um, they call them nesting eggs, um, and see what the local ordinances are about whether or not you have to wash them before you sell them. So definitely check that. But I just wanted to let you know, how do you tell if an egg is good or bad? And what is the purpose of the bloom? And should you keep your eggs on the counter or in the fridge? So that's what I've got for you today. Um, I hope that was helpful. And I'll talk to you on the next one.